Hi, I wanted to show you just a minute uh, what it looks like inside of iTunes uh, when we plug the uh, uh, iPod in. So notice here along the side it just shows me my music library, movies, TV shows, podcasts, radio, my iTunes store, stuff that I've purchased, and some of the playlists that I've created. And right now I have uh, nothing playing. So when I plug my iPod into the side, uh, with the USB, it'll make a, a ringing sound on the PC, and in a few seconds it'll pop up along the side here, and it will show you that the iPod is connected. Depending on the speed of the computer, this is a relatively slow notebook computer, but uh, iTunes runs fine. There you go. It says right now that uh, the audio is uh, 1.5 gig. This happens to just be a 4 gig uh, iPod mini. And uh, the name of the iPod, how much space is available on it. Other might be games, or it might be photos, or it might be uh, um, audiobooks and things like that. Data, and then how much free space do I have. Okay, so now I want to show you how to rip a disc. So. Before we had uh, we put Vince Guaraldi's CD in there, I'm going to push this in and show you what that looks like. So now I just put the CD in the CD player, and it's going to spin up the CD, connect to the internet, and give me a list of the uh, videos. It says here, would I like to import a CD, Charlie Brown Christmas? Actually, before I import it, let me show you some settings. But if we notice here, now we have a CD and we have the iPod as devices. I'm going to say no. We'll do this again in a second. Because what we want to check is we want to check the uh, settings. So I go into Preferences here. And I click on Import Settings from the General tab. You have many different tabs you can click on. So if want to click on the general settings click on import settings and this tells me the quality of the uh, audio that I'm gonna get from the CD when I encode to an mp3 it's gonna record at a high quality there are many different ways you can save this too if you wanted to save it as a WAV which is a standard Windows format mp3 is probably the best choice if you recorded it for an Apple format, you wouldn't be able to play it on a PC uh, without their proper codec. So MP3 is a pretty standard codec that works well for uh, uh, PCs and Macintoshes and even Unix computers. Uh, we can set the settings. Right now it's going to be the highest quality. The higher the quality, the more space it's going to take up on the disk but uh, there's a lot of disk space on this computer so I don't have to worry about it but also if you wanted to get a lot of songs on a uh, 4 gig iPod mini you might want to choose good quality and good quality is pretty darn good it's very hard to distinguish the quality between 128 and 192 uh, if you're probably doing symphony orchestras you might want to be 192 if you're doing stuff that's a lot more singing uh, you may get by with uh, 28 or whatever. And you can customize. I go into customize a lot when I'm going to rip a book on tape or something like that. Or I'm going to rip a, a spoken word. Because uh, when people talk, 64 kbps is fine. If there was a lecture that I wanted to uh, get on my iPod, I'd just choose 64. And I don't even need stereo. It could just be normal or the channels here could be mono if it's uh, just somebody recording audio. I'm going to do a cancel here because I don't want to set it that way. So that's okay. We'll just leave the settings as they are. It's basically going to record 192 kbps in stereo. So probably what it's going to do is 96 kbps on the right channel and on the left channel. Okay. We'll choose OK. Another thing here is uh, when we put the disc in, if the uh, iTunes recognizes the disc, it'll automatically 
set the name of the file, the artist, and the album, and the genre. Uh, in this case, it's jazz for the Vince Guaraldi, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. But if it didn't know what it was, it would give us all one, two, three, four, five in there, and then we'd have to enter the names in manually. Okay, I can go into here advanced, and I can, uh, if I select all these with a control A key to highlight them all, and then choose advanced, I can create an MP3 version. If I had a book on tape that I wanted to uh, rip, I usually join all of the tracks into one uh, uh, disc. So if I clicked on that to join, that would basically give me one file that has all the different tracks in it. I want to go back and unjoin those tracks because this happens to be music. Then click on Advanced and say Create an MP3 version. So this is going to take a while. I'm going to pause the video, or we'll stop the video, and then we'll show you how to, once we rip these, notice right here, faster the computer you have, the faster it's going to be converting these to MP3s. So right now it's uh, going at 4.6 uh, times. That's how fast this CD-ROM drive is on this notebook computer. If you have a real fatter, it might be going in at maybe 22 times. So that's going to take maybe about four or five minutes. It'll copy these into my library, and then we're going to find them in the library, and we're going to drag and drop into iPod. Okay, we'll show you how to do that in the next video.